हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 1.13 सो द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम इज दैट एन एयरक्राफ्ट टो बार इज पोजीशन बाय मीन ऑफ अ सिंगल हाइड्रोलिक सिलेंडर कनेक्टेड बाय 25 मिलीमीटर डायमीटर स्टील रॉड टू टू आइडेंटिकल आर्म एंड व्हील यूनिट डीईएफ सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द टो बार एंड दैट इज कनेक्टेड विद द सिलेंडर दिस इज द सिलेंडर यू कैन सी and the diameter of this rod is which is dc and this rod is 25 mm and that is connected to two identical arm and wheel unit def so def this is the arm and wheel unit clear the mass of entire tow bar is 200 kg this tow bar having mass 200 kg and its center of gravity is this one g for the position shown determine the normal stress in the rod so you have to find the stress in this rod so let's start with the given data so it is given that mass of tow bar tow bar is equal to 200 kg the diameter of steel rod diameter of steel rod is equal to 25 mm so what ha you have to find you have to find the normal stress in rod which is rod c d so let's start with the solution so the first step in our uh, this problem is that you have to draw the free body diagram and for free body diagram uh if i draw it it will take too much time so i will just uh, uh write down the necessary forces on this given data if you remove this wheel so instead of this wheel there will be a force that is equal to reaction force that is equal to r and at point g the weight of this tow bar acts and this weight is equal to w also at this point a you will have a horizontal force if you remove this they you will have a horizontal force that is ax as well as you have a vertical force which is ay clear all the dimensions are given we will apply the what we will have to do is that we have to apply the equilibrium condition on free body diagram so free body diagram of entire tow bar as we know that we have given the weight of this tow bar so uh, mass of this tow bar so weight of this tow bar which is equal to w will be equal to m into g m is equal to 200 kg while g is 9.8 Eight one meter per square per se, per square se, uh, second. Clear. So from here you will get the weight of tow bar will be equal to nineteen sixty two newton. So this is the weight that is acting at center of gravity. Now we will apply equilibrium condition in order to get this reaction forces R A Y A N A X. For that we will apply. the first bondi condition that sum of all moment about point a is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so you can see moment about point a is due to this force r so r into perpendicular distance is 850 and since it is counter clockwise moment so it will be positive the next moment that is created by this force w about point a is W into perpendicular distance is eleven fifty, and this is negative because it is producing clockwise rotation, so it will be negative, and their sum must be equal to zero. So also we have eight fifty into R minus W is equal to one nine six two into one one five zero. so from here you will get the value of r which is the reaction force and that is equal to 
54.5 newton so we have this reaction force you can also find ax and ay we do not need uh, this uh, ax and ay at current moment because we are interested in this area i will show you we will a in, interested in this area so what we have to do we have to draw the free body diagram i will write free body diagram of both arm and wheel unit what so let let draw it uh, we have this arm and we have like this so you can see cd force is acting in this direction so i will just point out cd in this direction this is force fcd at point E we have a connection so at point E we have two load one is EX and other will be EY or e EY this is point E and at F point we have a load of R this is R clear also you can check that this force is making an angle of alpha let this is alpha angle which this dc make with the horizontal this is alpha clear all the dimensions are given from d to from d to e total distance is 450 plus 100 so from d to e this is 450 in this distance from d to e is total 500 uh, 550 mm and this distance is 100 you can see that this distance and this distance is 100 mm rest from e to this and c this is and c from e to c this distance is 675 millimeter and from this to this distance is 500 millimeter uh, 500 millimeter you can see this is 500 millimeter clear now we will first find this alpha angle and this alpha angle will be equal to how we will find you can see that you have this value vertical and this horizontal value which is 650 so we know that tangent of alpha is equal to perpendicular which is 100 clear divide by base which is this one 675 so 675 so from here you will get alpha is equal to tangent inverse 100 by 675 clear and you will get alpha is equal to 8.4270 degree once you get this alpha angle you can apply equilibrium condition in order to find this force fcd so we will apply the equilibrium condition how sum of all moment about point E is equal to zero taking the counterclockwise moment as positive. Why we are taking the moment at point E is equal to zero because we do not need EY and EX. So we, we have R value clear and we do not have FCD. So easily we can get FCD. Okay. So FCD will have two components. One is horizontal clear. It will have two components one is horizontal and other one will be vertical this is f c d x and this is f c d 
Why? So the only force which is producing movement is FCD. So FCD about point E. So FCD x into perpendicular distance is 550 into 550 and it is producing a counterclockwise movement so it will be positive the second force which is producing movement is this r clear and this r is producing a clockwise movement and this will be equal to r into 550 minus r into 500 sorry not 550 their sum must be equal to zero now this fcd is equal to f cd cos of alpha f c d cos of alpha because you can see this is base there so this f c d x is equal to f c d cos of alpha into 500 minus r is given as 2456 26 sorry 2654.5 into 500 this is r clear and cause of instant of cause of alpha i will write its value cause of uh, uh, 8.427 okay when you solve this you will get uh, fcd is equal to 500 divided by 550 into cos of 8.4270 degree multiply by 2654.5 so from here you will get this fcd will be equal to 2439.5 newton clear this is the value of fcd and fcd is this force there and this fcd we have this fcd we can calculate the stress in that uh, steel rod and that is equal to sigma cd which is equal to fcd divided by acd clear fcd is 2439.5 and we have diameter of this rod steel rod which is c dc clear so you can put it area of steel rod is equal to pi into pi d square which and d is 0 0.0125 in term of meters this is in newton clear we have 25 millimeter 25 millimeter diameter and in meter it will be 0 0.025 uh, sorry this is diameter okay so in this is 0 0.025 meter this is diameter and radius will be equal to 0 0.0 125 and area is equal to pi r square so this is r okay so this is r when you calculate it you will get cd is equal to uh, cd is equal to 4.9697 into 10 to power six pascal one more thing is that if you look if you transfer this r over here clear so it will be uh, a positive value okay clear so this is this is the force and this is the stress which which will be in rod cd and this sigma cd is equal to 4.9697 mega pascal and this is your answer you can check it so this stress in this steel rod cd is 4.97 mega pascal i hope 
it's clear to you now and again if you have any question you can ask in comment section thank you for watching